gosh. You step oh. forward to this part right here, I, you'll be even. I did something on my something that recorded it. You weren't touching nothing, I wasn't touching nothing, and it started. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Welcome to another episode of Success in the Mess, the one show where we find success in everyday life. I'm super excited to be at one of my friend's studios, Andrea Mendoza with Andy Boudoir, and we're here to show you how she found her success in the mess in this boudoir photography space and show off this beautiful studio. This is Andy. Hi. <laughs> so I wanted to do something really special today and Andrea is special. Sorry, I know you don't like being like in the spotlight. You're the behind the camera sort of girl. Yeah. First, tell me a little bit about you and how long you've been in business and yeah. I have been doing boudoir specifically for four years now. I was straddling both a corporate job and um, doing this photography gig kind of on the side for a number of years. That changed. Um, I left my corporate position in October of 2019. So I'm about a year and a half into like full-time entrepreneurship um, where I really just took my business from something that, you know, did in, in, in all intents and purposes function as a side hustle to something that is much larger, much grander, um, much more encompassing. I shifted my focus away from kind of um, the roles that I was serving and dove into understanding all parts of, you know, running and managing a successful business. And so it was really, really important to me that this was a financially sound situation as well as um, fulfilling in all of the other ways that it yeah. is. Yeah. I can't explain to people until they walk into this studio what it feels like just existing here yeah. in this space. There is so much happiness and positivity that these walls feel that I swear it soaks it up mm -hmm. and it kind of just sits there and pulses <laughs> with just like good vibes, right? right. It, ta it allows me to take beautiful photos without having to like move everything around all over the place. But it really allows me to sink into what I love and what I love is lifestyle type boudoir. It is it is very much like a movie set because yeah. you guys don't see any of the behind the scenes with still photos. You just see a gorgeous image and um, the studio has been beautiful. And so it is, it's just so individualized because every single woman that comes into the studio has different intentions. They have different things that they are wanting. They have different comfort levels and what they feel um, defines beautiful for, for them. What has, what has been the hardest thing for you in creating what you've got so far, but it was like the hardest, most messiest part? I spent so much of my teenage years on social media that I have zero <laughs> desire <laughs> to spend it and to share my life in a way that, um, that I really need to, right? I am a super, super goofy human being. And so it is, it is a real struggle for me to push myself out of um, the place where I feel really good, which is in in-person interactions and engaging with people individually, one-on-one, -on -one, hearing about their stories, sharing my story, finding you know um, places where we can connect and support each other. Um, and it, it has been tough. It has been really tough. The reason why I shoot this genre specifically is because it is allowing me to make my mark making the world a better place. Boudoir is just the vehicle that I'm able to do that with. I think that what boudoir photography does is it allows them to see themselves in a way that kind of meets that very, very primal basic benchmark that society tells them is important. That's, that's really why I began and why I got so enthralled with this genre is not because I like to see women topless, but no, it is truly because of the transformation that I watch 
afterward yeah. that happens with them where they just feel powerful. I feel so I feel so blessed that this is what I get to do and that I get to meet all of these incredible women with all of these stories. Um, I call women superheroes and I I will, you know, say that till the end of my days because I just watch these incredible people do the most amazing things. So Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate your time and I appreciate you letting me in to the studio because sometimes I just want to come here and like absorb the happy. <laughs> um, come on, Andy. And if you're interested in booking with Andy, her information will be in the contact below, somewhere in the video or in the description, along with a link to the Facebook group. Um, and if you're interested in interviewing with me or if you know a business that would like to be interviewed, please have them reach out. My contact information is somewhere around here too. Thanks so much. Thank you. You should do it. You should do it. <laughs> it's not that scary. It's not. It's good. It's good. <laughs> She's a good interviewer. <laughs> not bad, huh? Not too shabby. Not bad. <laughs>